Are we recording? Because <laughs> I never can tell with these things. Never doing it different this style. Look at that. Speak pinking. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Okay, so like I'm not really sure exactly what uh, I never uh, yeah. About how hard it must have been for her afterwards. She, I guess, yeah, like had a bunch of gigs as an actor as a kid, and uh, wow, she look, she she died when she was sixteen, evidently. But check this out. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Old Jack here, Old Jack, yeah. who is not the crypt keeper by any means. Inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finn. <laughs> okay, that's pretty straightforward. He's not like uh, punning it to death, I guess. For her Okay, so she was like she was evidently dead. in uh, Frankenstein? Oh, wait, I don't know. <laughs> but in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for months. So, yeah, I like the whole fans. like comic book style just Tales from the Crypt. Possibly, uh, Unfortunately, a creep show, maybe? Yeah, remind you of that. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about Okay, yeah, Rick's trying to revive her career here. That was his so screen? That was a great screen. Oh. It was Barbara's father. Oh, that, okay. That was a... Uh, uh, into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. Dude's in there sawing. Cut his, hot, cut his shit up. Her youngest brother, Walter. Okay, but yeah, I ran across this because this game is just okay, literally like a walking simulator, but, but each story terror. from each person turns into a whole different style of gameplay, and this one is just awesome. It's every horror movie You're cliche right. crammed into like also, just a couple minutes. <laughs> Why is your basement door locked? And at first you're just like, because some of them are really elaborate games, and like some of them are two second things, and this one kind of falls there in the middle. So here's, yeah, here's pertinent information right here. Thanks, babe. And uh, yeah, I don't know why. When I live stream on this, then I get the camera, but I have no camera, and I have no option of that. Look at that, yes, Jackie Lantern. So yeah, I was wanting to figure out a way to play this on Halloween as soon as I discovered it. So yeah, that comes out of there, but you're not in the real life, you're in the comic book, I think. Yeah, this isn't... So I think whenever you come out of this, if I recall... And imagine the worst. Uh, yeah, I think John Carpenter was like, uh, y'all gonna have to Hook me up. <laughs> Give me some of that, that that video game budget money. So, Charlie the Blood. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his There's family. Saw, ten years ago table saw, table saw, he fell on. Working, yeah, I'm getting my crutch skills. The old fridge rattled and grew still. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh. <laughs> Rick? Barb, Rick just relax. caught this I was just trying to the business end to of this crutch. Well, I'm not of his own. <laughs> I'm furious. Then of his own crutch. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? <laughs> and she's still holding it. 
Mission. I'm keeping this. Watching the late, late picture show. Hours later. Barbara. Hours later. So. Walter? What's is it on? noon now? Because it's late, late. Or what does he consider late, late? Hey, okay, out. I'll digress. All right, I'm babysitting. There's the number one. There's like so many like horror movie cliches here, and I love how they just reskin the whole. This is the map of the game that you're already playing, and now it's all cel shaded. I love it. So they added a couple additions here. That's your spooky skeleton. And those eyes and. His Happy pumpkin. Oh, he's not very happy. Whoa, what the hell? Huh. I guess we were just in the middle of decorating. Walter, are you there? You in here? Police describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Oh. I return. Nice creative Sound under the hook bed man. shot. And hook man. A speechless. Green was quite smashing. He was quite smashing. What does that mean? Yeah, so like I've already been in this room in the game, so you figure out this whole cool little book kept hidden. You open this part, so it's kind of you're just reusing, but very cleverly reusing the part that you've already been in. So, so yeah, you've already been in this girl's room, but you could not use her door over here. But now. Yeah, you drop on him. Look, I'm just like chilling right here. You can't even. Don't even notice me right here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, dang. He needs to escape. He fell through my table. Anybody want some can candy apples? Oh yeah, let's go check on him. <laughs> it's one of them egg chairs. And of course he's gone. He listened by his breathing, but all he heard was. <laughs> now we got trick or treaters. to speak to young Barbara at the door. She heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Of course it was. Monsters have come to surprise her for Barbara. It was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be. So they're real monsters? And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave up her Okay, uh, yeah, I'm taking it they were real monsters? Or is this a metaphor? No. <laughs> Hollywood eat you alive. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I like that. I thought that was pretty cool. A little addition to, uh. And I just, I want, yeah, I wanted to showcase this for Spooktober. The end of the era. Three years. 
game every day. And and I'm gonna leave it at that. The trilogy. We're not doing game every day, ever. I mean, will I do something for Spooktober? Maybe. I mean, definitely. But will it be a game every day? No. <laughs> thirty days, thirty games. Her ear. Three years, thirty-one games a year. 93 games. I know there's over a hundred, a hundred horror games on this channel. <laughs> so yeah, I'd love that. That was cool. Edie told me all Barbara.